The second of the virtual instruments that we're going to take a look at is called Boom, which is the drum machine instrument that comes with Pro Tools. Okay, so Boom is a 16-step pattern-based drum machine uh, and also a drum module, so you can use it very simply just to play back individual drum sounds from your keyboard. Okay, so I'm triggering individual sounds there with my keyboard. You can also use your keyboard to trigger the patterns themselves. Okay, so I'm holding down the C3 key there and it's playing back pattern number one. So the C sharp three key will play back pattern number two and so on. And it's really easy to use uh, with Pro Tools itself because when Pro Tools is running, Boom will be in sync. So the first beat of Boom will always be the first beat of Pro Tools. So Pro Tools is running now. As you can see, it doesn't really matter where I play uh, the MIDI key, it will always be in sync. So that makes it really easy to use. Okay, so what about editing these patterns? Right, so first of all, let's look at method uh, number one. Make sure the pattern select switch uh, is um, saying pattern select. And then you can use this matrix up here. Um, we're going to add a crash symbol on the fifth of the 16 steps. Okay, and it lights up. If you click again, you'll see it goes slightly dimmer, which means it's slightly quieter. Click again, it's almost off, so quieter still. And click again, and it goes off. So there's four different volume levels for each of the 16 steps. Um, that grid or matrix is quite uh, tricky to use because it's quite fiddly. Uh, an easier way is to flick this switch over from pattern select to pattern edit and then choose the sound that you want to edit. So let's say we want to edit the snare drum. Uh, this row of buttons here now indicates where the snare drum will play. So to enter a snare drum on the 16th step, click the 16th button. Again, the four different volume levels by clicking once and the light goes slightly dimmer, click again and it goes almost out and click again and it's off. Okay, so there we've got um, an extra snare drum on the 16th step. Let's play that using Boom's internal sequencer. Okay. All right, now what about sounds? Well, you've got 10 different drum kits to choose from and you can choose them by clicking here and you can see them all there. They've obviously all got an urban or electro kind of flavor to them. So I'll choose Ato, for example, and that loads Ato sounds into all 10 channels. If I want to mix and match my sounds, however, I can click on these buttons here and load individual sounds from different kits. So that will load a snare drum from the 9 kit. Okay, so that's a basic overview to using Boom in Pro Tools.